Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Are you I missed doing? you yesterday. I but are you okay tonight? Me and teacher. Meeting. Okay, okay. You had a meeting. Oh, okay. Okay, you had a meeting. Hello, Alejandra. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher and classmate. Okay. Hello, everyone. Giovanni Alexander and Giovanni Alexander, Karina, Silvio, welcome. We are going to start taking the attendance because tonight we have a long agenda. Because today we have the um, unit practice. Okay. We have the unit practice, so we have to, um, we need to start now. Okay. Let me go here. You ready? Are you ready? Okay, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Not yet. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. <laughs> Están Present. Ahí, Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Beto Barribera. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Suleima, not yet, okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. I see Kevin. Good evening teacher, present. Hello, good evening, okay. Hello Kevin. Okay, I checked you in already, guys. Now let's see Carlos Eduardo, there you are. Okay, good. We're gonna start tonight with 
the story from yesterday. We're gonna just read um, very quickly the story. And then I'm going to show you pictures and you are going to tell the story, okay? You are going to tell the story of what happened. It's the same story, but in pictures, okay? Now let's read it in a very quick way. Let me share the screen with you to do that, in order to do that. By the way, did you hear the song? Did you listen to the song I sent? Did you? Okay. Did you listen to the song? Elvis Presley's song? Did you listen to yes, it? Yes, teacher. Okay, was it good? Easy to understand, right? Easy to understand, very clear. Now let me share the screen with you. We're gonna start with this. Okay, I'm going to read the story of the um, exercise we did yesterday of reading, and then we are going to tell the story by pictures. So, I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew I knew the headquarters for the first time. It was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients and I'm accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the action, the actions and the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months. Uh, the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error-free. Okay, now do you remember the story? Let's try to say it first with the story there, okay? La vamos a decir. Vamos a ir contando esta historia, vamos a ver. Vamos a ir contando esta historia. A ver, what is happening there? What is this person telling to telling us or what is she talking about? What is she talking about? What is the story here? This person? It's a person travel to, to obtain a better skills for, for the job and obtain a better results. Maybe. Okay, thank you very much, Silvio. Where this person, uh, where did this person receive the training where in colombia okay it was in colombia right and what was the training about what was the training about the training uh, the personnel for tech support uh was it only for tech support i don't think so i think the objective of that training was uh, more efficient. Okay, uh huh. As Sylvia said, also he said that this person achieved uh, some skills uh, to be more efficient doing the remote work, right? Remote work. So the training we could say that it was about remote work. Right, remote work and some things like that, um, technology or from home, right, working from home. 
or from um, uh, yeah, from one location to the world, right? To expand, to expand the brand, to expand the sales, right? So let's continue. Um, what is this person responsible for in the company? Hunting for new clients. Okay. He or she, right, is responsible for hunting for new clients. Good. And who, who is this person accountable to? To the sales department. To the sales department. Okay, we could say who, we could say what, but if we don't know, if we don't know what they're gonna say, if a person of a department, then we can say who, right? Who is this person accountable to? Now, um, did she or did he work with the other departments as a team before the training? What do you think? Did they work, all the departments work as a team before the training? Yes. Do you think or after the training they learned? Okay, the, the question here is, antes de ir al, al entrenamiento, estos departamentos trabajaban juntos como un equipo? ¿Su departamento con otros? No, right? No, they didn't. No, oh, they but didn't. I learned. They, yes, she or he learned in the training to work in as a team because they were going to work from home, uh, remote work. So they had to learn how to communicate and how to collaborate between departments from the places where they are, right? And this is to get better results. This is to get better results. Okay, now let's continue. Um, what did the tech support department create? What did the tech support department create? An app. An app, okay, an app. And other departments participated too, right? Other departments participated in this creation and this the de um, development. So, um, well, how much? How much is the increasing in sales? How much did they increase in sales? or income. How much in did In 65%. Okay, in a 65%. Okay, very good, very good. And what is this company known for in these days? What is this company known for? To delivering in the product on time. Okay. And? And for take, taking care to ensure error, error free. free. Thank you, Silvio, thank you. Now, you are going to tell the story. I'm not going to say anything, okay? You are going to tell the story as if as it is written here. I'm going to show the first picture. 
Lo vamos a hacer como que es usted, I, en primera persona. I, okay? Tell the story. Okay, who wants to start? Who wants to start? Annie, do you want to start the story? Okay. Teacher, no understand. Vamos a contar esta historia, pero yo solo les voy a enseñar las figuras o las fotos y ustedes van a contar esta historia que acaba de pasar, ¿ok? De esa persona que fue a ese training y toda la cuestión. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a practicar acá? Vamos a practicar el pasado de los verbos. ¿Cómo se hacen las oraciones en el pasado de los verbos? ¿Cómo se utiliza el did, el didn't? ¿Ok? Eso es lo que estamos practicando. Vamos a ver. So, first picture. First picture. Who wants to start then? Do you want to start, Annie, or? I went to Colombia. Um, um, uh, hay que mencionar todo lo que aparece ahí en el mapa. No, 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 just Colombia. Just Colombia. This okay. is just the picture, right? I went uh, to Colombia. To Colombia. Um, Oh, oh, but that's good. It's a very good sentence. I went to Colombia. Who wants to continue? Silvia, continue the story. Um, I went to Colombia and visited the, the headquarters of the company. Okay. Good. Good. I visited the headquarters of. Okay, good, good. And what did you go to do over there? What was the purpose of the travel? Um, to a, a meeting of the, the C level of the, com the company. Uh, a meeting? Meaning for the C level or the oh, high okay. level CFO, CRO, and mm -hmm. present the results of the, the 2020 in the company. Ok, estamos contando la historia que está, que acabamos de hablar allá, ok. Ah, la, ok. Yeah. Esa es la historia que estamos contando, chicos. No se me pierdan, vamos en el mismo, es, estamos practicando exactamente la misma historia. No la estamos creando, la estamos contando. Oh, okay? I'm sorry. Ok, As if, eh, pero lo vamos a decir siempre en primera persona, ¿verdad? Ok, now, Ana said, I went to Colombia, Silvia said to visit the headquarters okay now we are gonna say for a training okay for a training now Karina continue what did you learn in the training um I learned to more be a, to more to be more efficient and <laughs> Remote work. Uh, um, I'm there about remote work. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Next picture. Continue the story, please, Daniel Enrique. Okay. I am. Mm -hmm. I learned. I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am okay. what? Continue, continue. Uh, 
uh, is responsible for hunting the new client. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Continue with the story, please, Raquel. Okay. I went visited Colombia were with many people. It was very interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, but we'll continue. What uh, uh, what is next? What is ne what do you see in the picture? You see a person like um, doing some uh, explanation or plans how to work with the other departments and having a meeting and then they are working uh, in a remote way, okay? So what do you, do you think is next in the story? Uh, uh -huh. to collaborate with the marketing department. Thank you, yes, continue, continue. Uh, <laughs> no, because we have the, um, the uh, thing over there mm -hmm. and coordinate. Uh, uh, coordinate with purchase department after the training. Okay, okay. Carlos Eduardo, continue. Um, create um, with uh, they support the, and develop a new app. Okay, past tense. Uh, Tech support created. Okay, okay. They support created and developed and a new app. Okay, and what is the app for? The Kera is up. sale. Yeah, good. Selling online, right? Good. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's continue. Um, Linda, please. Um. Uh, the sales team uh, plan the action in app in the app. Okay. And the marketing uh, design the, the the layout. Okay. Thank you very much, Linda. Now, Nancy, continue the story, please. <laughs> I am in Colombia oh, on a on a, a war visit um, and I like uh, the country. Oh, okay, good, good, um, Nancy. Um, but now we are um, telling. We are telling the story. What? We are telling the story. Do you ah, remember the story? At, at, at I cons consider, no sé si, consider mm -hmm. that the app is for shopping. So, uh -huh. Okay, good. No sé cómo se dice, va a facilitar la compra. Okay, but what did the story said? ¿Qué dice la historia? Okay. ¿Qué dice ahí la historia? Lea las oraciones para que pueda armar la oración de esta, eh, de esta foto. Mm, 
Okay. Hmm. I know, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you see when we try to practice and when we want to um, retell a story, we are going to um, teach our brains how to order the words, how to order the words to say an idea, to express an idea. Y eso es lo que estoy tratando de hacer con ustedes, que expresemos la idea, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo expresamos una idea? ¿Recuerdan el consejo que siempre yo les he dicho? Armemos la más mínima expresión con sentido que tenemos en el lenguaje. ¿Cuál es la más mínima expresión que tenemos con sentido completo en el lenguaje? Una oración, ¿verdad? Y una oración está compuesta normalmente por un sujeto, por un verbo y un complemento. Entonces, decíamos, el sujeto es I. ¿Ok? El sujeto es I. Estamos contando lo que sucedió en ese training, ¿verdad? Y lo que sucedió después de ese training. Entonces, aquí en la foto podemos hacer dos oraciones. Um, Linda hizo acerca de la aplicación. Hagamos una oración acerca del incremento. How much did they increase the sales um, when running the app? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo dice la historia? The last two months. We the used the new company increased the income in okay. six. And 65%. Ok, and 65%. So, vámonos siempre a lo sencillo. No volvemos en el espacio, vamos a lo sencillo en donde está eh, eh, centralizado el vocabulario que hemos aprendido en estas clases. Ok, bien. Solo nos falta una, una foto, veamos, y es el final de la historia. It's the end of the story. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo sería acá y cómo sería acá? Read or tell me. Finalicemos la historia. Our company is known for the delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. Thank you very much. Good, good. Now you got it? Ahora sí ya vimos cómo era la cosa. Vale, la vamos a hacer yes, rapidito teacher. la historia. Vamos a hacer rapidito la historia. La cosa es que no debo hablar mucho español, chicos. Si no nos van a fichar, ¿verdad? Y no queremos ser fichados. So let's retell the story or let's tell the story. Picture number one. I was Colombia. I went, okay. I, I went to Colombia. Okay, continue, continue. What does the story say? The, sem know. the seminary mark of marketing. Okay. Okay, now, next picture. I knew the headquarters for the first time. Okay, I knew or I visited, right? I knew I visited, okay. Next picture. It was a uh, very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. Okay, next picture. Continue the story. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients. Okay. And I'm accountable to the self department. Okay. I learned to collaborate collaborate with the marketing departments and also coordinate with the purchasing departments. Okay, thank you very much. Next picture. After the training, 
the personnel from tech support credit and developed the an app. Excellent. Uh -huh. And if you see, not only the tech support uh, personnel worked in the app, right? Who else worked in the app? ¿Quién más trabajó en la aplicación? The sales team planned the action in the app and marketing design the layout. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So, the, uh, well, this is another picture. Two more pictures. The company increases a sixty-five percent. Percent. Okay, sixty-five percent. Uh huh. In their incomes, right? Okay. And the last picture. And the company is known for delivery on time. Great. Uh -huh. And what else? And for taking care to ensure error free. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. So this is a way to tell a story. Okay, this is the way to tell the story, saying experiences, saying experiences. If, in it, if the action was in the past, then we use past tense, simple tense. Okay, past, simple tense. Now, let me please share with you the objective for the class. <clears throat> for this, for my class, I'm sorry. And let me introduce the, the next, next activity. Okay. Yeah. The topic for today is review and practice of Unit 2 content. The, the complete content of Unit 2 today is Friday, so we have to do the review. And we started with a feedback. It, it was a, a speaking activity. Now we are going to do a listening activity about the song and you have to tell me the story that they are telling. Then we're going to recall vocabulary in our manuals and reading activity and also talking about the networking experience through our manual and some other activities. Then we're going to go to the breakout rooms to write a business card, the information that, that a business card contains. Um, then we're going to make a little summary about Unit 2 and we're going to dismiss the class and the session one to one today's turn is for Anna, Annie, okay, Anna del Carmen. So let's continue. Let me go to the next part. Okay, chicos, yo les envié una canción por ahí, okay, no la podemos poner acá. No la podemos poner acá. Así que ustedes ahorita con su micrófono apagado van a escuchar la canción. Ok. Van a escuchar la canción. You are going to listen to the song and pay attention to the story because this is experience that the singer is telling. Ok. Start.
Okay, people. Okay, what is this song about? What is this song about? Now it's your turn to retell the story. We are going to retell the story. Retell significa que ustedes la van a contar, ¿verdad? La van a volver a decir, lo van a contar a otra gente. Okay, the story that someone um <clears throat> hat or tells you okay please let's read this guide este es como una guía para que nos ubiquemos un poquito en la canción okay for sure a letter is written right a letter is it's something about a letter Right? The story, something happened with the letter, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, who wrote the letter? Who wrote the letter? Who wrote the letter? Elvis. <laughs> the singer, the singer. Okay. The singer. Uh -huh. The man, the boy, yeah, the lover. <laughs> Okay, because this is kind of a love story, yeah? It, it's a love story, and it's funny. It's a very funny love story, okay? Uh, who returned the letter to the sender? Who returned the letter to the sender? She. She, yeah. Uh-huh. And in Spanish, we say ella. 
¿ok? <laughs> es que él, es que ella, right? That's what we say in Spanish. Ok, let's say she did. Ok, what will be the correct answer here? She did. Ok, who returned the letter to the sender? She did. Why did she return that letter? Why? Why did she? Because, mm -hmm. because don't have address, not number, and I think the song. Okay, okay. That's a very good uh, conclusion. But, um, well, that's kind of uh, first, first, oh. um, first sight. Es como una primera vista, right? But uh, listening to the story, listening to the story, um, what is happening is that that's an excuse, okay? That's an excuse. Uh, the, the, the address was correct. The zone was correct, but she okay. returned the letter, okay? She just returned the letter because she didn't want to know anything about him anymore, okay? She didn't want to know about him anymore. What, um, let's say, what did it happen? What did it happen? Uh, why did they... Um, uh, ha, I mean, why did he have to send this letter? ¿Por qué tuvo que enviar esta carta a este muchacho? Why? Because they have a quarrel. Uh, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. They had a quarrel, a uh, lover's pet, he says, right? A lover's pet, uh, a discussion, like an arguing, okay? They were arguing and she got angry, she got mad, she left, and then he had to write the letter. He had to write the letter. Oh, poor guy, poor guy. This girl does, I mean, doesn't want to know anything um, about him anymore, okay? But now, what is the solution he found? What is the, the solution to this problem? What does he say in the, in the, in the song? Okay, he was sending the letter over and over, and the letter was returning over and over, okay? Every time he sent the letter, uh, the girl sent the letter back, okay? So what is the solution he is thinking about doing? What is he going to do? What solution did he find? ¿Qué solución encontró él? Entregarla en sus manos. Yes, go personally, right? Go in person with the letter and tell her, hey, please forgive me. I want you to come back, right? And if she returns to the sender the letter again, okay, then he's going to understand, okay? until that <laughs> happened. Okay, poor guy, right? Poor guy. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, now, please, in the chat, what I want you to do is Escriban una oración de lo que ustedes escucharon. Una oración que hayan agarrado de la canción. Solo una. Ok. Only one. Return to sender. Ok. Write it down in the chat. Escribanla en el chat. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, I love special deed. Uh, lo que dice es, I sent it special D, special D, special delivery. Okay. Él lo envió, dice, intentó también enviarla con la, la entrega especial. Y ni aún así, vea. She wrote upon it. Uh -huh. Return to sender, yes. I gave a letter to the postman. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I gave a letter to the postman. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. I'll understand. She'll understand, right? Uh -huh. It came right back to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, this is nice. This is nice. Did you like the song? Ya la habían oído. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, very, it's a very nice song. It's classic. It's, it is classic. Okay, there you are. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Karina, Nancy are very young people. I know. I know you didn't listen to this song, but. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, what? and good some um, if you pick up one. <laughs> oh yeah it's like yeah you're right uh-huh <laughs> um i hear many many bears versions bears in past oh, okay okay i Hold hear up. roll gave um had mm -hmm. uh came Mm, I don't remember. Um, old no. Okay. Put. How do you say another? That? Put. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Old no. Unknown. Um, unknown. Thank you. Unknown. Mm -hmm. And uh, versing in present continuous too. Writing. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a good sign. Okay. Because uh, someone is asking here, what is put? What does put mean? What does put mean? When he said, he put it in his sack. Okay. He put it in his, in his sack. Put means poner. Echar. Okay. Oh. Well, in this case, it's kind of uh, echar, but it's poner. Poner. That's the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's let's continue and let me go to the objective because we didn't read the objective for the class. Um, so let me go there. We are almost getting to the vocabulary practice. You are going to do the practice by yourselves. So no, let me let me get to the objective because this is a must. We have to read it. Okay, not sure. Here it is. Okay, the class objective is that you will be able to assess your comprehension and application of vocabulary used during the unit FEM. Okay, what was the unit FEM? Uh, 
What was the unit theme? Socializing, okay. What is the topic for unit two? The headline? Socializing, okay. Esperamos ahorita ver si hemos cumplido el objetivo, ¿verdad? Con el vocabulario. Y ustedes mismos van a evaluarse y ver si han comprendido este vocabulario. Por lo menos lo han conocido y ahora lo identifican, ¿verdad? That's very important. No es de frustrarnos de que no lo podemos armar así todo de un solo. No, vamos parte por parte. Step by step. Okay, now we are going to go to the manual and there we have the vocabulary thing, the vocabulary practice. Let's go over there. I think it is page 27. Antes de la práctica de vocabulario, nos toca hacer una pequeña lectura que está ahí. Okay, vamos a hacer esta lecturita. Let me read it for you. And then after I read, you are going to complete the activity. I have to be moving all of you to from this side to the other side. I had to, to do the arrangements for that. Okay, guys, this is an experience. This is an experience. There is no other way to apply the vocabulary we learned in the unit two, but uh, reading, reading and telling stories, okay? Reading experiences. So this is the way to uh, relate or to say, narrate, the um, experiences someone has, okay? Experiencing experiences that someone is having, okay? So, let's start. Voy a leer lo primero, lo voy a leer un poco lento, okay? Y después, eh, así voy a ir diciendo, cada uno va a ir leyendo un par, okay? Last week, I had lunch with Allison a new member of my network contact. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I would have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said, she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusts, I'm sorry, she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business, problems, and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. This is about an experience of networking, okay? Let me read, let me read this blue box that we have below the picture. It says, when networking with people at meetings, conference, association, meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. 
change the standard, what do you do for a living for a more creative question to enrich the human exchange? Like what inspires you in your job? What are your daily challenges? Okay. Are we okay with this? Is there any question about the vocabulary in this reading? From the chair, no. No? Okay, I'm going to take the attendance first and then I'm going to split the group into the breakout rooms and you are going to work, you're going to read by yourselves, okay? But then you are going to answer this activity. Okay, entonces la cosa es así. Voy a pasar la lista. Después de que pasemos la lista, aquí mismo lo vamos a leer un párrafo de, les voy a pedir a uno, dos, tres de ustedes que van a leer cada párrafo. De ahí yo los divido en los grupos y hacemos esa actividad. Ok, vamos a ver. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to take the attendance. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ok, Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valivieso. Well, I should not mention him, I think. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Eduardo, are you there? Present. Okay. Sorry. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Please, those who didn't turn on your cameras, please do. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present, teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present, teacher. Nancy Iberto Rivera. Nancy, are you there? Present teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present. Okay. Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Here we are. Let's go back to the manual. And let's start with Astrid, Astrid, please read the first paragraph. Last week, I had a lunch with Alison, a new member of my network contact. We signed each other the three seminars over the past years, but we really did 
know, know each other very well. I said a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least, at, least. Five, at, least, at least five new contacts these years. My fifth contact meter what what Allison were meter what to re re rewarding rewarding reward, reward. reward. that I want to share I want to share the experience. Okay, thank you very much. Now please Suleima, can you read the next um paragraph? Okay, teacher. The green launch Allison mentioned that mentioned that she was she be nature shy by the, nature shy by nature. In the past, she the say she worried a lot before. It um go no before going going before going before going to learn networking evenings i feel surprised because she through through the through date trusted through trusting me that feeling I go to know more about her, the industry she working, she, she works, works in, in and about her expect, expectation, expectation, es, expectation for the um, future. 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 Uh, future. I gain more than a new contact. I pass from more tall to small, small, tall. Okay, thank you very much. Daniel Enrique, please read the last paragraph. Okay. Here is my advice to you when you attend business event. Do not just go a discuss business problem and solution. Try to get to know as least three new people by sharing a one on one, one on one, the working coffee, lunch or dinner. There are several benefits, benefits of this practice. To expand your contact, improve to networking skill, you build meaningful connection with people in the, in the industry. Okay, thank you very much. I'm just going to repeat some words, advice, advice okay um we have improve improve okay. improve several 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 okay and the other was meaningful meaningful meaning meaningful mm -hmm. Muy significativo quiere decir eso. Meaningful es significativo. Ok, nos vamos a ir entonces a los breakout rooms. We are going to split into groups and please work in the comprehension activity. True or false, I think it is, right? Let's go. Ok, we are
Okay, people. No veo que esté ahí, fíjese. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, tenemos un poco de duda de lo que vamos a realizar. Ahí abajo de la lectura hay una ¿Sí? actividad que ah, es okay. eh, de verdadero y falso. Ah, okay, false. okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher. There you are. Solo que no le tome captura a la... A la lectura. Ale, si tiene la captura de la lectura, compártame. ¿no? Tengo, tengo la captura de la lectura, aunque en la parte de abajo eh, no logro identificar nada. No sé si esta es del, de la positiva que estará en alguna página, me imagino yo. De la, del, del, del manual. Uh -huh. Pero a lo voy a compartir. Y es la página 27 de su manual. Ah, ¿verdad? Es, uh, mm -hmm. es una página 27. Ok, teacher. Thanks. 26. Okay. Yes, because 27 and 28 is the, practice, the vocabulary practice. Mm -hmm. okay. Veamos, veamos. El teacher, entonces tenemos que contestar las preguntas que están abajo. Exactly. Alison, um, uh, ok, si sí, es verdadero o falso. Ok, teacher. Hmm. <coughs> I sent it through WhatsApp too, if you want to, okay? There is the, the reading and there is the activity too. Okay. Okay. You have to read and look for the uh, answers if it is true or if it is false, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, continue working and I'm going to another room. They are calling me, okay? Thank you, okay, teacher. teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. I, I paste from the smartphone to the smartphone. The four projects through. Falso. 
And number five is through three benefits. Number one, expand your contacts to improve your networking skill and you build mean, meaningful connection with the people in the industry. You, you can let that there. Pero antes de eso dice there are several benefits of this practice. Ajá, pero menciona tres, ¿verdad? Sí, hay, hay tres ahí. The number four is true because I I this networking coffee lunch or dinner. La cuatro, dice, Number four says. Ah, okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, okay great. The, the four uh, means stay in Allison, pass from a small talk to a small talk during lunch. No, Charlotte. Pasar una Estoy charlando como durante el almuerzo. Uh -huh. Bueno, no, 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 miembro de My Neighbor Contact, de los contactos de, en línea o bueno, en línea del trabajo. Alison y Mr. Tay, tú.
Okay. Here we are all together. I just want to ask you, this is just to start uh, this new part of the class. What is easier for you? A ver, entre todos ya sabemos que hay diferentes habilidades que se desarrollan aprendiendo un idioma. What is easier for you? ¿Qué es más fácil para usted? To read, to listen to it, or to speak. Okay. Let's see. Um, Carlos Eduardo, what is easier for you? To speak, to read. Sí, ¿Qué es más fácil para usted? Leer. Yeah, read. To read, read, okay. To write, to okay. Mm -hmm. What about to speak? Is it easy for everybody here to speak? Is it easy? No, teacher. Okay. So if it is not the easy part, that's the part that we have to practice more, okay? That is the part that we have to practice more. And this activity, I think everybody was, oh, yeah, 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 and yeah, true, no, no, false, no, yeah, true, true, false, false, yeah? And it's easy, but what if I ask questions? I think it's better. You, you think, you order your ideas, then you express your ideas. That's what we have to practice more, right? Uh-huh. Ok, este era solo un comercial para que vean lo importante que es la práctica de hablar. Si usted quiere aprender a hablar inglés, ¿qué tiene que hacer? Hablar inglés. <laughs> ok, so let's uh, see the answers for this uh, activity. It was some, it was a group of questions, well, statements of true or false. So number one, please read the um, statement and say if it is true or if it is false. I'm going to say names, names. Okay, let's start with Giovanni Pineda. Number one, please read the statement and say if it is true or false. Uh, uh, Alison in each state saw each other for the first time last week okay. uh, is true is it true or false guys help you false. false false false. Okay. false false why is it false why tell me tell me why what does it say in the reading uh, because the past years. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo dice en la lectura? ¿Dónde encontraron que era falso? ¿Qué dice ahí? They saw the past year. Ah, ok. They saw the, they saw saw. the past year. Ok. Then it is false, the right? Year. Then it is false. Everybody agrees? Yes. Yes, teacher, it's yes. false. Yes. Okay, yes. there yes. you are. Number two, please read it and say if it is true or false, Kevin Antonio. False. Okay, read the statement. Lea la oración. Any states that are not working or or this year. Okay, is it true or is it false? False. Okay, who says false and who says true? False. False. Why? Why is it false? He said about last year. Yeah. Ok, leamos otra vez ese pedacito para entender si es falso o es verdadero. Vamos a la lectura y veamos. En la lectura dice. Mm -hmm. 
I set a goal last year. Mm -hmm. And the sentences say, Mr. J set a networking goal for this year. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 because it says. Oh, no. Excuse me? Oh, true. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Uh, right. This is what I wanted. Yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> I will have a one on one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. Okay. ¿Qué podemos decir? ¿Es falso o es verdadero? El que puso falso, ¿por qué puso falso? Y el que puso verdadero, ¿por qué puso verdadero? Tell me. No es que está malo, solo quiero escucharlos, ¿ok? Ok. <laughs> it's not uh, wrong. It's, it's I just false. want to hear you, ¿ok? I write false because um, he, he told this year in the... In the writing last year, say last year. I said goal of the last year. Goal last year. Okay, so the goal was set uh, last, last year. year. Okay, to be yeah. developed this year, right? That's the yeah. confusion. That's uh, first someone said uh, that it is true and some others said that it is false. But yes, it's uh -huh. false because it was last year. Okay. It was last year. Okay, just let me read again this part for you to be clear. Okay, este es para que estemos claros. Porque al principio unos me dijeron unos que es verdadero, otros que es falso. Okay. Cuando nosotros hacemos una meta, es para el siguiente año, ¿verdad? O para el año en, en el, el que va a estar en curso, ¿verdad? Ese año se llama this year, porque lo estoy viviendo, ¿ok? This year. Last year mm -hmm. es cuando yo me la propuse, ¿verdad? Last year fue cuando ella la propuso. So it says, I set a goal last year. I would have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. ¿Qué ustedes creen? <laughs> ya les di otra vez, vea. Ya les dio duda otra vez. Ok, los que dijeron true, me imagino, porque no me dicen, eh, me imagino que pensaron así como pienso en este momento, lo que acabo de decir, que si era para este año, para este año. Ahora, los que pusieron falso pensaron solamente cuando pensó, cuando hizo, cuando se propuso la, la meta. Así que las dos acepciones hubieran estado bien, pero lo lógico sí es falso, ¿verdad? Lo lógico, pues sí, es falso. <coughs> Pero de igual forma, vuelvo yo y repito, yo hubiera puesto true. Myself. Ok. Myself hubiera puesto true. Ok. Number three. Number three. Who wants to read it? Let's see. Um, Giovanni Ramirez, please read it. Alison confessed she hated networking events. True or false? Is it true or is it false? False. 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 <clears throat> okay. ¿Y en dónde lo encontraron? In what part does it say? She was by nature in the past. She said she worried a lot before going. The life never thing event. That she didn't say that she hated them, right? Yeah. She didn't say that she hated. Okay. Mm -hmm. She was shy. She was worried. 
but she didn't say I hate that or I don't like this, right? Okay, then good, it's false, it's false. Next one, number four. Number four, Nancy, please read it. Mm -hmm. Nancy, number four. Is Nancy there? Is she having trouble? Yeah, she's having trouble. She okay, let's see. Alejandra, please, number four. Number four is true. Okay, can you please read the complete sentence? Number four. Cabal, en el momento que pregunto, pum, se, se prisa la pantalla. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Ya se quedaron de eso. Ok, there you are. Hasta la cámara le hace... Ok. Yeah, you, you hear? You hear? There, is, there are interferences. Ok. Ok, now let's see. Who wants to participate? Reading number four. Carlos, do it, please. Mr. Miss State and Allison passed from small talk uh, to small talk during, during lunch. Okay, that's number five, I think, right? Is that number five? I, number okay. Five. Okay. Thank you very much for number five. Is it true or is, is it false? False. False? Why false? It's true. Five is true. It's true. Number five is true, but Teacher, uh, it's number four. But is it the number four? Uh, Mister and Allison pass from top. Yes, I was in number four. Four. Yes, yes. Oh my god, I'm crazy. I'm crazy now because I'm going from one to the other, one to the other uh, screen. Uh, pero es que no lo quiero poner enfrente porque la idea es que pensemos. Okay, let's think and let's talk. If not, we are just reading. Okay, that is why I'm not sharing the screen now. Okay, number four. Yes, number four. Was it true or is it false? It's true. Okay, yes. it's true. Number four. Number four. I think it's false. Why not is it complete. False? One part is true and one part is false, I guess. <laughs> why, why do you say it is false, Karina? Mm, because only mistake pass from a small talk to a smart talk, but not during the lunch. <laughs> and only son not pass from a small talk to a smart talk. Okay, it doesn't say that Alison, but who is talking mm. to, to the other person? I mean, uh, who did this uh, Mrs. State talk to? She was talking to, to the girl, right? To Alison. So yes. I think both were talking. Both were talking. This is kind of a logic thing, but yeah, you're right. Just reading <laughs> the facts. Okay, but let me read, okay? Let me read because in the reading, you are going to find out. Oh, sorry, it moved. Okay, it says, <clears throat> they were having lunch because they went to have lunch. During lunch, second paragraph, 
Alison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said, she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusts me. Uh, that feeling, I get to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. I think, I think this is what I think is that they both did, okay? They both did. They passed from the small talk to the um, smart talk. Why? Because they were talking each other, I mean, and a very good conversation during lunch and um, they started with one topic and they finished in another topic, right? So they talked of everything from small to smart talk. It's not one only topic. Okay, no fue solo una plática casual, verdad? Sino que tuvieron, se fueron profundizando y se conocieron mejor, okay? Then, incluso le preguntó dónde trabajaba y qué hacía, etc. Right? So yes, both. For me, it is true. For me, it is true. For me, it's true. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Si nos vamos sure. a, la, a lo literal, Karina, yes, it's false, as you said, pero es true, entendiendo o comprendiendo lo que estaba sucediendo. Okay. Is it okay? Now, let's see. Okay. What was the next one? Next one is number five. Number five. Who wants to read number five? Ana Cristina wants to. Ah, Raquel wants to. Uh, Ana Cristina. What? what? <laughs> Number five. Mistake. No, Ana Cristina, no Raquel. Okay, Daniel, go ahead. <laughs> oh. Sorry, teacher. Es que no problem, me... no problem. <laughs> Yeah, I saw, I saw. Es que nomás yo le digo un nombre y pum, se congela esa cámara. No sé por qué será. <ríe> yo, oh, my God. Cuando digo un nombre, digo, Carlos Eduardo, tra, 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 empieza la, la interferencia, ¿verdad? Astrid, pum, la saca. Yeah, o sea, es Nancy se queda congelada. <ríe> no sé por qué será, Raquel, Raquel, hoy fue su turno. <ríe> Okay, Rachel, number five. Okay. Real. Yes, please. Okay. Miss Tate mentioned three benefits of one-on-one -on -one networking, networking meeting. Okay, is it true or is it false? True. True. Okay. True. Okay. True. Can you read the three benefits she mentioned? What are the three benefits? Expand your contact. Okay. Improve your networking skills. Okay. And you build me meaningful uh -huh. connection with people okay. in in city. Excellent. Okay, those are the three benefits. Now let's continue in our manuals. Let's go to our manuals. And then we are going to start with the vocabulary practice. Este es bien bonito porque es una sopa de letras. A letter soup. Yeah. Entonces, ustedes se van a meter a la pantalla, okay? You are going to access to the screen and you are going to uh, mark the words we have to find out, okay? Here it is, talking about a company. Find the 10 words from the box below in the word search. Let me open this. I expanded the limit. Now here, 
Mm -hmm. Let me expand this. Okay, there it is. These are the words, industry, staff, networking, branch, guest, headquarters, small talk, manufacturer, personnel, expertise. Now I will, okay, there you are, start guys, start. Entren a la pantalla y dibujan la línea, ¿ok? Teacher, I can't because I am the phone. Oh, oh, oh. I did. Y no puede por, con el lapicito. Busque. Uh -uh. Ya lo intentó otra vez. Sí. Yo creo que sí va a poder si le pone con el lapicito y se mete, porque ahora, eh, bueno, hay que actualizarlo, porque ahora es más fácil. No My sé phone si... is... Ah, ok, ok. Ok, I understand, I understand. But, but I did, I did the, the... Ah, did you? Yeah. Ok, you did it. Uh, if you want, you can send a screenshot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Or if you did it on paper, take a picture of it. Okay. 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 Manufacturer, yeah. Headquarters still the letter S, right? This letter S also. Sorry a picture. Okay, do we have 10 already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's see. Let's start with um, okay, I'm going to say the names from down to uh, okay, no, no, it's better not that way. Okay, I'm going to say names and you are going to say the words. Okay, ustedes van a decir las palabras cuando yo diga su nombre, las diez palabras. Okay, Linda. Industry. Industry. Okay. Continue. Ten words. Van a decir las diez palabras. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Industry is staff, networking, branch, guests, headquarters, small talk, manufacturer. Personal expert, expertise. 
expertise. Expertise. Branch. And what was the other over there? No, that's not a word, Branch. right? Branch and guess. Branch Thank you very guess. much, Linda. Thank you very much. Now, Raquel, please. Okay. Industry, staff, networking, branch, guest, headquarters, a small talk, manufacturer, personnel, expertise. Expertise and personnel. Okay. Personnel. Carla Veronica, please. Yes, teacher. Industry, staff, networking, branch, get headquarters, small tour, manufacturing, personal, experts. Expert. Okay, thank you very much. Annie, please. Personal. 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 Manufacturing, staff, manufacture, any manufacture, manufacturers, sure, 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 manufacture, manufacture, a headquarters, 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 a small talk, a guess, guess. Eh, ¿Cuál me hace falta? Branch. Branch. Eh, small talk, ya está. Industry. Ok. What, 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 what? This one. Es, es, expert, expert. Expertise. Expertise. Ok. Expertise. There you are. Thank you very much. Astrid, please. Uh, industry, headquarters, staff, small talk, networking, manufacturing, branch, and uh, personal, expertise, guests. Okay, very good. Y aquí hallaron otra, miren que bueno, bye. <laughs> También aquí hay otra, ah. <laughs> Nice. Good. Good day, guy. Okay. Thank you very much for um, giving these words. I'm going to do something first. I have to erase this. Okay. Here we are. So now we have to give examples of sentences using these words. We have to give examples using these words in a sentence. One sentence with industry, guys. Can you tell me a sentence? Busquen, busquen ahí en, en el manual. Hay varias. There are many. I have one. Okay, give it to me, please. Miss Carmen, the okay. staff is ready for the party. Okay, the staff is ready for the party. For the party. party? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good, because today it's Friday is Friday. And the body Friday. Know. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Next one. Let's see. Next one. Do you have another? Carlos Eduardo? A sentence, Carlos Eduardo? <laughs> Using these words. One sentence. One sentence. Uh, smart talk. And to converse and smart talk, uh, smart talk. I passed. I didn't I didn't hear. I'm sorry, Carlos. Pass. Okay, I passed. Uh -huh. um, The small talk. 
Okay. To smart talk. Yeah, it's it's passive or past past. Okay. Past. What what say? Past. Past. Uh -huh. Past. Porque es tiempo past. pasado. Yo pasé de la pequeña a la más profunda okay. plática. Okay. Another example, please, using uh, those words in a sentence. Where are the killed water? Okay. Good. Another? We are the tourist industry. Okay, thank you. Another example? Another sentence? We manufacture... Mm -hmm. Cardboard boxes for the packaging company. Okay. For yeah. that or for packaging? Yeah. Packaging. Okay. Okay, thank you. There you are, and copy the letter at the beginning, and also here we go at the end. Here we are. Okay, guys, this is the example how to use. Oh, sorry, I moved. Okay, using these words in sentences, and the sentences are easily taken from the manual itself. Okay. Okay, next part. In the next part, we have to write five information questions in the uh, simple present. And we have to use these verbs, okay? Let's go to your manuals and tell me sentences using oversee. Oversee. It's right, uh, information question. ¿Se acuerdan de las information questions? Who is the supervisor of production? Who is the supervisor of production? Who is mm -hmm. the supervisor? Production. Okay. Thank you. And remember the question mark. Thank you. Another information question using manufacturer or oversee. <laughs> Okay, this is the uh, supervisor is related to supervise. Okay, to supervise. Podríamos decir, um, what does Carlos supervise? Okay, for example, if we add this. Okay, this is an example. What does Carlos supervise? Okay. Next. Otra pregunta, chicos. I said, chicos. Okay, people. When it's 
is my. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have to reactivate your audio. It's because of the uh, ambience. It was too noisy. Hello, Suleyma. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, when it is manufactured. When. Is it manufactured? Ok, pero aquí no estamos utilizando el presente simple, ¿verdad? Estamos utilizando el presente del to be. Si miran, who is, when is. Ok. Ahora, utilizar el presente simple es do it does. Ok. Veamos, podemos decir where uh, do or does your company manufacture. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Porque aquí en esta ya no utilizaríamos manufacture en tiempo presente. Aquí ya viene una voz pasiva. Tendría que ser como manufactured. Okay. When is it manufactured? Yeah. Okay, my dear students. Una pregunta de información utilizando be in charge of. La que utilizamos siempre en toda la clase. Okay. What is the marketing department in charge of? Um, <clears throat> who is in charge of the assemblers? Okay. Next, network. A question with network. Como un verbo, ¿verdad? No como un nombre. Uh -huh. When do you network? I work at, um, in, in, in meetings or maybe um, at night, okay, kind of thing. It's a contact. Hmm? Contact. When do you network? It's mm -hmm. Contact. No, cuando hace eso, cuando usted se pone oh. a, a ver sus redes, ¿verdad? O a oh. platicar con sus contactos o hacer nuevos contactos. Yeah. That's network. Uh -huh. Network como un verbo, no como la, el nombre, ¿verdad? Ok. And we have only four minutes. So we are going to <clears throat> take the attendance and we'll finishing this activity. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Creo que sí todavía la podemos hacer esta, ¿verdad? Order the words to create positive, negative, and interrogative statements in the simple past. What, the, these words are in this order. So we have to um, gather the sentence or the question in this case, because it has a question mark. Number one, number did one. You, did you enjoy the training? Thank you. Thank you. Next one. Mm -hmm. 
Next one. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Okay, excellent. Okay, and we have a period. Next one. The my maintenance personnel update their certifications. Personnel, uh huh. Updated their Updated. certifications. Thank you very much. Okay, next. Did the supervisor exchange business card? Exchange business card. And the question mark because it's a question, right? Okay, and the last one. Last one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My didn't. My didn't. Didn't. Mm, aquí este my no se refiere a yo. Este my es un posesivo de workmates. My workmates. Okay. Didn't. Uh -huh. Network at conven convention. At the convention. Okay. At convention. Uh -huh. at convention. Okay. There you are. Aquí podríamos agregarle da. Me suena más con da. Okay. Here this is. We are okay. We finished. We covered all the, the content for Uni 2. And we are going to leave this, um, this thing about the business cards for the next class. Please remember, guys, ahora me voy a pasar a español completo porque necesito que estemos, por favor, eh, lo más terminamos ahorita, ustedes van a la plataforma y please submit, por favor, envíen su examen, ¿okay? Envíen su examen de medio curso, ¿verdad? Que sería el de las dos semanas, ahorita ustedes tienen que hacer su examen y todas las tareas de la unidad 2. Ok, los que no las han ido haciendo, I'm sorry, pero tienen que hacerlas todas hoy. Los que sí ya las hicieron, los felicito, porque sí han estado una a una presentándolas. Así que por favor todos a ah, eso. Y se queda Ani conmigo, ok, para la, para la yes. session one on one. Uh -huh. So have a good night, guys. Ah, the attendance. Yeah, good. The attendance. <laughs> I was gonna die now. Oh, it's my. Goodness, teacher, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Friday, and and Marielena wants it's to Friday. live for the party. Oh my god! <laughs> Just let me go. Let me go. Let me go. No. Let me go. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Alejandro Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present, teacher. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present, teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Vladi um, Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present, teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present, teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. 
Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Um, Carla Verónica Suria López. Present, teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Kevin, are you there? Kevin Antonio. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Raquel Judith. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Cuando estuvo Ana Delmi. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Presente, Chuck. Ok. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Presente, Chuck. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Presente, Chuck. Ok, guys. Now, yes. Have a good night and let's meet. Let us meet Monday, I'm sorry. Let us meet on Monday. Oh my God, I'm kind of, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Bye-bye. Thank Have you. Have a good, good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. Carla Veronica, are you there? Okay, there you are. Hello, Annie, how are you tonight? Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. You? I'm fine. It's, uh, it has been a great good, class tonight. Good. Yes, yes. Do you have any question uh, about the content? Um, and the question in, in the um, uh, una duda en la tarea. Oh, okay. In la tarea uh, seven, en donde hay que ordenar. Oh, okay. in, uh -huh. No, no, no entiendo mucho cómo ordenar. No me sale, ahí me sale mal. Oh, ok. Let me go there. Let me go there. Ay, teacher, me está costando bastante. De veras. ¿Por qué? Sí, sí. Por qué? In the practice, ¿va? <ríe> Tengo que practicar más, yo sé, pero eh, más que me, me traumo más porque no, a veces no le entiendo, quiero agarrar aquí con algunas palabritas, pero ay, me cuesta y me, uy, okay. a veces me, me enojo conmigo a mí. <ríe> <ríe> ok, pero llevamos un orden de actividades y ahí se puede ir ubicando usted. Ay, hay una, sí, ahí en el manual también tenemos un mapa donde usted puede ver el vocabulario que estamos refiriéndonos todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? En esta unidad. Entonces, sí. si usted identifica ese vocabulario, ya la hizo. Ya la ¿Okay? hizo. Sí, yo, eso es lo que, lo que no me ha quedado tiempo, no me está quedando tiempo de practicar uh -huh. eh, en el trabajo hasta en el mediodía. Solo tengo un ratito para comer y empiezo otra vez a elaborar eh, y cómo se llama sí la práctica realmente es la que la que me va a ayudar vea, bastante Exacto. pues sí pero eso que me está diciendo lo voy a hacer voy a voy a sí ahí en la página 6, un sí, en la página 7 
uh, perdón, en la página 6, sí, usted va a encontrar ahí donde dice el vocabulario de, uh, de cada unidad. Entonces usted busca ahí en esa columna vocabulary y mira cuál es el vocabulario meta. Si usted lo identifica uh -huh. y lo aprende a utilizar ese vocabulario, ese es el objetivo que hemos cumplido. Sí. Ahora, ahora no me quedó tiempo ver lo de la canción, pero sí vi lo del, lo del, uh -huh. uh, y, y di, y di se llama, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. el, el, el video que envió de la, de, de, de la pronunciación de las letras, y, y la, 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 la que está, <risa> mencionaba acaba la D. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, me gustó mucho, pero ay, me, se me trababa la lengua. Sí, es que esto requiere práctica y decirlo y decirlo. Sí. One and again. Hasta que se le quede a uno, ¿verdad? Yeah, once and again. Sí, porque sí. el cerebro lo tiene que aprender a hacer naturalmente. O sea, al principio usted va a sentir que es exagerado, ¿verdad? Pero, y que se le oye como chistoso a uno. Sí, ya sí, ya cabal. Se va eh, soltando un poquito más. Y va suavizando, va suavizando y después sí, es como sí. natural, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. ojalá primero Dios que aprenda, dicha porque sí yo quiero aprender. Y yo creo que ha aprendido bastante. Sí, Mire, sí, sí, porque hay, sí, hay sí, diferentes vale. eh, habilidades, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh, Lo que no. usted mencionaba, vea, el read, el white, eh, a mí me cuesta el speed y me, me, cuesta, me cuesta el listening. Listening, pero el, ajá. Uh, Uh, listen, el read y, y el write como que lo manejo un poquito uh -huh, uh -huh. porque le comentaba la vez pasada que en mi trabajo eh, se usa mucho el inglés técnico verdad uh -huh. por los catálogos, por los productos porque el proveedor pues es, habla inglés uh -huh. si sí tenemos eh, a, a alguien que habla español allá en Estados Unidos pero eh, yo no mucho me comunico con ellos pero al traducir uh -huh. Pongo el Google y traduzco es diferente. Ok. O sea, es literal, vea, bien, bien diferente porque no es lo mismo okay. traducir así que, que el correcto. Eh, claro. Ajá. Como el que estamos aprendiendo. Uh -huh. Sí, porque hay que ordenarlo, hay que ordenarlo. Y para ordenarlo, lo que hay que hacer es ubicarse. Voy a preguntar, voy a afirmar o voy a negar, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. ahí es donde usted se va a ir ubicando. Por ejemplo, ahorita usted me dice que en la tarea 7, ¿verdad? Usted sí, me sí. puede decir, I have problems in homework 7, right? Now, tell me what number of those. Because here it says, read the information type a proper question. Don't forget to use the auxiliary. A ver, uh -huh. le están diciendo ahí en la número uno, las, uh -huh. las palabras son what, this machine, and do, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál es la estructura? ¿Cuál es la estructura de, uh, déjenme, déjenme. Aquí creo que la noté la estructura de, uh -huh. del, 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 del did, did must suggest my verbs. Exactly. Mm, pero en este caso estamos en el presente. Ah, okay, okay. okay eh, no okay. estamos utilizando it, estamos utilizando it does, does y do, sí. ¿verdad? Ah, sí, es cierto. Do it does. Entonces. Siempre va a ser el mismo orden. Do más sujet más verb. Exactamente, exactamente. Ahora, en la que normalmente le va a ir dando un problemita sería en who, pero hasta el momento. Hemos visto who y con la misma estructura, ¿verdad? Utilizamos sí, sí, sí. el auxiliar, luego, eh, primero la, la palabra de pregunta, W-H-O-R. Sí, sí, correcto. Uh -huh. Then the auxiliary. Then uh -huh. we say the subject. Then it goes the verb in the base form. Y de ahí uh -huh. va el complemento. And then the complement. Okay. Okay, so, let's start with the first one. Let's start with the first one. It says, what, um, the words are what? This machine and do. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta entonces? Vaya, me voy a salir de aquí porque estoy en otra cosa. Me fui a las seis. Sorry. Okay, here it is. Lo voy a compartir aquí yo para que lo vayamos mm -hmm. viendo. 
Okay, here it is. Then okay. number one, mm -hmm. number one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What this machine do? Uh -huh. Entonces voy a poner what mm -hmm. what what do? Mm, como this machine is it. ¿Verdad? Ah, okay, okay, Ajá. Okay, okay. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar que vamos a usar? Is. Uh, no, what does. Okay. Ah, ok, ok. What does. Uh, does. Ah, sí, porque es tercera persona. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This machine es el sujeto, ¿verdad? This, ma sí. this machine is the subject. What is the verb? The verb is do, right? Mm, do. Mm -hmm. What does this machine do? What does this machine do? Y le agrego el, mm -hmm. el, el signo. Yeah, the okay. question mark. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, question. Uh -huh. Entonces el otro va a ser uh -huh. who, who does, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Who does, eh, Meet she. She meet on Saturdays. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And the question. Next one. Yes, she meet. Okay. On Saturdays. Okay. Uh -huh. En ese orden sería de irlas contestando. Exactly. Tiene que hacer la. Ir ordenando, perdón. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Por eso dice la instrucción. Let's read the instruction. Let's read the instruction. It says, read the information. Read the information. Type ah, sí, a proper dice. question. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. forget to use the auxiliaries. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the auxiliary here? Does. Does. And do, do for plural. Mm -hmm. Aquí va a ser do porque es, es como se llama plural, ¿verdad? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many how, people? How, how many people on this podcast? Entonces va a ser how, how do. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Okay. Ah, no, porque es she. Exactly, exactly, okay. Eso estaba interesante su, su eh, razonamiento, ¿verdad? Usted comenzó uh -huh. a how many people, entonces es el sujeto, dijo usted, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero entonces vemos que no, ¿verdad? Que no, how many no, people, sí. how many people is... Eh, es el, ella va a supervisar a, a muchas personas. Exactly. Uh -huh. Entonces, how many people es una question phrase, ¿ok? Question uh -huh. phrase. Si se fijan estas de arriba... Solo tenemos question word, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Aquí mm -hmm. tenemos question phrase. O sea que la pregunta es la palabra de pregunta o lo que preguntamos es de más de una palabra. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. How many people, pero nuestro sujeto no es how many people. Nuestro no, es sujeto she. es she, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. Ah, how That's many she. people ah, does. Ah, pues esa es la que más me... me, me esa era la que más me, okay. me daba problema. Sí, porque las otras sí ya tenían más como así lógica, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Pues sí, a, a esto es la que me, más me confundía porque llevaba el how many y llevaba el she. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto. Y tiene que diferenciar cuál es el sujeto y cuál sí, es sí. Eh, la frase de pregunta. Ajá, pero el orden no, la, no, lo, no, no sabía ponerlo. El ok. Orden. Pero, uh -huh. how many people does she supervise? Uh -huh. Y el signo de interrogación. Correcto. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Estamos sí, bien me... ahí? Sí, sí estamos. Uh, Understand more or less. Ok, ok. <risa> nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Ay, yeah. teacher, yo quiero aprender, teacher. <risa> I love your attitude. I, I really love it because I see that you are very excited learning and I think you are going to learn. Hasta el momento okay. ha aprendido bastante. Mire, sí, hay que sí. empezar por el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Primero estamos enriqueciendo vocabulario, enriqueciendo y metiendo sí. palabras y más palabras al mismo tiempo que lo vamos haciendo en contexto, ¿verdad? 
en un contexto. ¿Cuál es nuestro contexto? Nuestro lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? O sí, las sí. cuestiones de las compañías o empresas, ¿verdad? Ese es nuestro contexto. Entonces, sí, ubicándonos en esos temas, Mm, ya la hice. No, más, más fácil, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes, sí, you did it. You did it. And yes. you were doing a good job. Don't worry. You uh -huh. were y gracias. Thank you. Que nos tiene paciencia. <laughs> my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Yeah, I love mm. to teach. Yeah, I love to teach. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, then. Only it's... ese. Gracias okay. por su ayuda. Sí, muchas gracias porque sí. Me estaba acosando un poquito eso, pero. Ya voy aprendiendo. A, a veces cuando hago los, así, los, los las, las tareas, ay, ahí a la primera me salen todas buenas. Yeah. Uh -huh. <ríe> sí, porque uh -huh. a, a, hay muchas veces que tal vez solo en una he tenido error y algunas veces no, no he tenido error en ninguna. 20 de 20, qué chivo. Uh -huh. <ríe> Pero usted lo puede volver a hacer y volver sí, a hacer. Sí. Para y que le vaya mejorando sí, y va, sí. exacto, va practicando. Y así va aprendiendo más. uno. Ajá. Se practica haciendo eso, cabal. Y después sí. se le queda, se le queda. Después uno lo anda repitiendo y así es. Ay, Ajá. mire que yo hasta en la noche estoy activity <risa> no sé qué. <risa> hasta soñando con el inglés. Very good. <risa> sí, hasta, a veces Ay, en la noche. No. De activity. <risa> Y no Ajá. sé qué, y, lo, y lo, algunas cosas que se me quedan, ¿verdad? Estoy Ajá. hasta en la noche estoy pensando en eso. Ajá. And you're Pero like sí. this, the activity number, right? Y, y usted, teacher, y usted, teacher eh, eh, a, 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 solo acá ha aprendido. No, en diferentes lugares. Pero sí, más que todo aquí en El Salvador. En El Salvador, no, yeah. no, no ha aprendido en, 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 fuera. En in, in the United States, no. With no. people from the United States, yes. Uh -huh. mm. sí, uh -huh. sí. Or, uh, and also with a uh, British Institute. Yeah, mm. with a British Diferentes institute. Yes, yeah. in mm. Guatemala too. Mm -hmm. Ah, qué bueno, qué yeah. bueno. Sí, porque yo tuve un teacher, yo fui una vez a, ay, ¿cómo se llama este? Esta institu institución que está ahí por Metro Centro, Centro Cultural. Fui, fui una vez a a recibir dos módulos y el teacher nos dijo acá no van a aprender y ya le estoy quitando el tiempo no, don't worry, don't worry I, I like to hear you me encanta platicar con usted I love to talk to Gracias. you yeah. entonces decía que, que aquí él no lo había aprendido como cuando viajó y, y fue a aprender afuera es más ah. fácil que sea. Mm, pero well, si, se da la, si se da la oportunidad de viajar y, y poder estudiarlo allá, ah, qué chivo, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. And it, sí, and pero. It's, it's not for everybody the opportunity. Yeah. Sí, sí, uh, It's not for everybody, but in, um, I mean, working, yeah, you may, may travel and may have trainings and seminars in different countries, so you may learn more. Pero para poder ir a esos trainings y para poder ir a esos, usted tiene que llevar su conocimiento de inglés, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, yes. Okay. Sí. So it's, it's important to prepare right here, right? Yes, mm -hmm. sí. There you are. Sí. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Okay, bueno, then. primero Dios. Gracias, teacher. Pase buenas noches. Le agradezco un montón. Ok, no problem. And Gracias. let's meet on Monday and have a good weekend. <laughs> good night. Good night. Amen. Okay, God bless you too. Amen.